understand why you're still mad at me. Really, Tom? Well, let's run through what you did. First, you read my diary. Then you made things worse by snooping through my email and phone. And finally, you ruined Mystery Game Night by melting down in front of all of our friends. I was trying to surprise you with news that I'm doing a music video with the incredible Ricky DeLuna, but you turned my nice surprise into a disaster. Okay, that's all fair, but in my defense, how can you stay mad at a face like this, huh? Hello there, <gasps> Angela. I'm looking forward to creating something beautiful with you. Susana, do not leave me. I beg of you. I beg on my knees in the pouring rain. Guys? Oh, come on! I need to show Angela how much she means to me. So I got her, drum roll please, a gift basket. Forget her, man. TV says the best way to make a girl forgive you is to run to her in the rain. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Tom's right. Listen to the dating expert. This device magnifies the romantic feelings in whoever it's pointed at. If Angela's like levels for you are too low, this baby will put things right. Hank? Gross! You guys are all gross! Whoa! Huh? See? Like Cupid's arrow. Just never set it to reverse or it will wipe out any romantic feelings, leaving its target as emotionless as a broken robot. Huh. Trust me, what Angela needs is an apology and this sweet basket. Wow. Let's try it one more. Tom? Hey! That is a passionate dance. Yeah, all Ricky DeLuna dances are full of passion. The world needs passion. That's what dancing is all about. Uh, what, what, uh, mm. You know what? You're right. I don't want to get in the way. I'm just here to give you this nice gift basket. What? It's distracting. I'm at work. You didn't do anything else, did you? Uh, no. No, obviously not. I mean, I would... He's sorry, so sorry, he hopes you won't stay mad. He admits the things he did were really very bad. Ugh. <sighs> Just go home, Tom. Ah, such a shame to cover one of my beautiful eyes for a costume. Hello, Ricky. Ah! We need to have a little chat. What can I do for you? Look, I get that you're all about passionate dancing. That's fine. But while you're doing it, don't let her forget what a good thing she has with me. Just be like, Ah, I am so impressed with your cool boyfriend. I cannot believe he gave you that basket, which was really something. I understand. To see Angela dancing with me must be difficult. I should help you. Yes, thanks, man. I knew you were cool. I said I should help you, but I will not, because I would rather steal Angela away from you. What? I don't think so, bud. All women fall for Ricky De Luna. Angela will be no different. No, you're wrong. Whoa! <laughs> Ricky DeLuna to the dance floor. Angela wants to rehearse the super romantic part of the dance. Ah, the lady calls. Soon Angela will choose between us. And who will she pick? Tom, who hides in my costumes? Or Ricky, the irresistible dancer with a breath as fresh as a herd of roses? No, she'll pick me, Ricky. No matter how fantastic your breath is. Okay, we need this dance to be perfect. Action! This is going really well. There is undeniable chemistry between us. Yeah, I agree. Sorry about my boyfriend, though. We're going through something. I I'm sure he'll leave us alone now. Look, I know you told me to leave, but I have to warn you about Ricky. He wants to break us up. Oh, Tom, this is not a good look on you. You should get out of here. 
Oh, I will. But not until I prove that you're not so special, Deluna. Say you dance surrender. Never! <laughs> you lose, Richard. What is wrong with you? Uh, you seem very angry. I mean, you sabotaged the biggest shot in my video. Have you gone nuts? No, no, I'm trying to warn you about him and get you to forgive me. Well, that backfired. I think we need to spend some time apart. <gasps> what? But I. I understand. I shouldn't have. <sighs> Goodbye, ex boyfriend Tom. <laughs> wow. So you're telling me that Angela's gonna wind up with Ricky DeLuna, international superstar and pop idol? Uh, lucky her. I mean, that's terrible for you, but wow, Ricky DeLuna, quite a catch. I should have given her space. I feel horrible. Whew, yeah, breaking up is tough. No way to change that. Unless he used Ben's machine, I guess. <laughs> but that's <laughs> crazy. I could count a million things I like about you. The way you think, the cute things you do. Oh, Tom. You seem distracted by your dramatic breakup. I hope I can help you find some peace. I can't believe Tom did that. He's so infuriating. He does not understand you. Those who are not superstar entertainers cannot know our minds. You think I'm a superstar? You are going to be a very big deal, Angela. Along with your superstar boyfriend. Uh, my superstar boyfriend? Yes! You have ditched the zero, so now you can be with the hero. What? No! This is a professional dance relationship. Oh, Angela, don't play hard to get. Like I told Tomas, the women always fall for Ricky. Oh, you really said that to Tom? He was telling the truth. Who cares about him? He's gone! Now, give your new boyfriend a kiss. Mm. Uh, uh, I, I feel pain! Angela? Angela! No, Tom! Don't do it! Please stop! If you lose your emotions, the only things you'll care about are work and bills and stuff! Ginger, don't make it sound like a good thing. Oh, Tom! Angela's calling! She might have something important to say. Hey, Angela. Uh, Tom's a little busy now. He's wiping out all his emotions. What? No, don't let him. He was right. This was a big mistake. Um, could you come here, like, in the next two seconds? No! I'm on the other side of town. <gasps> That's bad. No! Okay, listen closely. Plug your phone into the TV. Hurry! All right. And... <sighs> I'm oh. in love. <laughs> huh? Tom? Ah, Tom! Stop! Ah! Oh, Angela! Ah! Tom! What are we gonna do? Hey! What are you doing?
So, you made the video without Ricky, huh? Yep, but the video I did make is more important to me. It's about something I care about. Us. Oh. Ugh, Angela, I am sorry about the increasingly unfortunate series of things that I did. <laughs> I know you are, Tom. I know. Beware, supervillains, or face the might of Cyber Hank and his trusty sidekick! Sticky Ginger! Holy helium! It's our arch enemy, the Eliminator! <laughs> we have to stop him before he inflates the whole world! Time to download Justice! <laughs> Ah, put down the watermelon and help me with this. Got no time, Ben. Having a picnic with Angela this afternoon, huh? You'll have plenty of time when you help me complete the time slower. Angela's at the store right now picking out our grapes. This picnic is on. Stupid Tom. Stupid the Balloonator is making his move. Enter observation mode. <laughs> What's this doing here? Cyber Sticky Go Go! Ah! Get off me! Stop it! You know, Ben, no matter how evil he was, that balloon deserved a trial. Citizen, it is our sworn duty to be a firewall between you and crime. Don't be a firewall to me. Play your game somewhere else. Mighty misunderstanding, Ben. Superheroing? <gasps> is it a game? It's big, grown-up stuff. Huh? Toys! Don't touch that. It's my fail box where I put all my inventions that don't work. The Yuck Monica has lousy battery life. Now, please, stop touching... And what's this? Robot bookers? I was trying to improve upon glue. I failed. So that only sticks to things if you throw it. Oh, and this could be Cyber Hank's Cyber Saber! It's just a flashlight that's way too bright! Don't point it at... Guys, go away! I need to work on my time slower. Yeah, but you're the only one around who needs to be kept safe from crime. That's not true. There are lots of other citizens to save. Like a, like a, <laughs> Tom and Angela. I hear their picnic is in peril. A perilous picnic? That doesn't sound very dangerous. That's what the bad guys want you to think. That logic computes. We've got to save Tom and Angela. Okay, but we have to take the fail box. <laughs> Fine, just go. Save somebody else. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I heard that soon we'll have plenty of time for even more of these picnics. Oh, nice. Is Ben making a time flowing machine? Mm hmm. <laughs> Bugs detected. That villainous fly is about to destroy Angela's cupcake. Dastardly dessert. Let's teach that fly to buzz off. Hey! Whoa! Download this, Scoundrel! <laughs> you don't need to fight the fly, guys. Hmm. Flies are part of picnics, like ants and sunburns in weird places. But Ben told us to protect you because you were in danger. So, Ben put you up to this, huh? Yeah, good thing. Is it really a good thing? What do you guys know about supervillain mad scientists? <gasps> Oh, yeah. A mad scientist would definitely be someone two brave superheroes would want to battle. But the only mad scientist we know is Ben. Ben's not doing anything evil. He's just making some invention to control time. But he could use that power to rob banks. <gasps> You're right. Ben fooled us as if we were fools. Not for long. Cyber Hank and Sticky Ginger to the rescue! Woo! <laughs> Hold it right there, Dr. Mm, Slowpoke. Dr. Slowpoke, that's a good name. I thought I pushed you off onto Tom and Angela. G go back outside. I'm busy. Your mind games won't work on us, Dr. Slowpoke. The time has come to stop you from stopping time. <coughs> Whoa. 
What are you talking about? The Time Slower is a miraculous, world-improving invention! <laughs> world-improving? Does it sound evil? Not sounding evil is an obvious supervillain trick! Don't fall for it, Cyber Egg! Excellent point, Sticky Ginger. The one thing that doesn't stick to you is lies. Step away from the Time Slower, Dr. Slowpoke. Stop calling me that! Cyber Sticky, get the supervillain! Yeah. I'm not a supervillain! <laughs> well, how about that? It works. Uh, uh. <laughs> to take such extreme measures, but I need to finish my work. I hope you don't mind hanging around until I'm done. <laughs> <sighs> We're having a great time. This is a lot more fun than playing superheroes like Hank and Ginger, right? It does not sound like they're having a good time in there, does it? No, not one bit. I kind of want to be a superhero, too. Me, too. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Hmm. Yes, we can get costumes from here. Woo! Let's go fight evil. <laughs> Stop that mumbling. It's making it very hard to get into my workflow. They'll never stop, Dr. Slowpoke. Not until you've been vanquished. I am not a supervillain. Besides, who's going to vanquish me? You guys are all tied up. <laughs> Man, I am on today. Huh? Yeah. Hank, Ginger, what happened? You were right about Dr. Slowpoke. He wants to freeze us all in time. That's not what I'm doing. And who are you two supposed to be anyway? Well, <clears throat> I'm the dynamic Diva, fighting evil with the power of song. And I'm Tom Man. Oh. Uh, I'm Tom Guy! Wait, okay, look, I didn't come up with a cool superhero name yet, but I will, I promise. Tom Guy, shh! The point is, why are Hank and Ginger tied up? Because I no longer have time for any more interruptions! And unfortunately for you guys, you are interrupting me. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Villains! Where did Ben go? I'm right here. I stopped time so I could change into this bad guy costume. It just happens to look good on me. And if you must know, I also had a snack and took a little nap. Ben's all villain now, but it's a good thing we have a super villain's one weakness. A superhero team! You all distract me from my work! Get the time slower! Woo -hoo -hoo! Don't worry, Sticky Ginger. <laughs> Attack now! <laughs> He's using his helmet against us! <laughs> your ears, everyone. Let the diva take this first. Hey, Ben. What is your power supposed to be? Uh, it's a good one. You'll see soon, right after this. Enough time to end this. Gotcha! Nice distraction time! Oh, distraction! That's my super thing! <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. 
Yeah, I get yeah. it. I got carried away, but I just wanted to finish the time slower, and then Hank and Ginger kept distracting me. Well, you have no one to blame but yourself. Mm. Oh, all right, we sent them in, but only so we could have a picnic by ourselves. <gasps> Wait a minute. This was all so you two could do your kiss barfing. Wow, classic superhero <laughs> backstab. Life is a graphic novel, I guess. <laughs> no! This machine is far too powerful to be left in your hands. Cyber Hank, we've got a town to protect. I'm with you, Sticky Ginger. Well, I wouldn't worry. They'll break that thing soon enough. I mean, hello. What's so funny? Are you watching that video with the golfing babies again? Uh, sure, that's exactly what we're doing. Boy, can those infants putt. Yeah, that video never gets old. Wait a minute. Those babies have a terrible short game. <gasps> ben, she's on to us. Uh, Quick, we have to destroy the computer. <laughs> uh, Tom? What's going on here? Okay, fine. Ben found your old MyFace page. What? Me? You're the one who came down here and said, oh, check out all these hilarious videos Angela used to post. I didn't make hilarious videos. Well, you weren't trying to, but you did. Hey, world, it's Ange. I was going to tell you why I hate the system, but I'd rather let my flute do the talking. Oh, come on, it's not screaming bad. It's simply a relic from your past that only the three of us will ever see. <laughs> Pop, those embarrassing videos you said of Angela are so embarrassing. She's uh, gonna be embarrassed. <laughs> if I were her, I'd be embarrassed. How embarrassing. Yeah, Angela, how do you feel about this? Uh, I mean, ah! uh... Today's tutorial is how to cut the fingers off your gloves. <laughs> Warning, take your gloves off first. I don't believe this. I thought this site was part of my past. Buried forever like my baby teeth and that lamp I broke. Nothing's buried forever on the internet. That's what makes it such a marvelous cornucopia of knowledge. Statement made. That's it. I'm deleting this now. Angela, come on. It's not that bad. Really? Well, let's show everyone your page and see how you like it. Go ahead. I was as cool then as I am now. My name is Tom, and I'm here to say that I'd rather spit rhymes and write my history essay. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> boy. See, Angela, if you can't laugh at yourself once in a while. Hey, now let me show you how good I got at practice kissing. <laughs> Uh, we don't need to watch the rest of this. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start crying again. And wait a minute, I cry so much. <laughs> We've got to delete these profiles. Huh? can't remember the last time I logged into this thing. Please answer the following security question. What is your favorite berry from seven years ago? What? I don't remember that. Profile locked. Page cannot be deleted. This is terrible. What if my fans find this? What if they already have? And if people find Tom's page, he'll have to stop being mayor. He'll have to shut down his company. He'll have to live in a cabin in the desert filled with splinters. No! You've got to help us, Ben. Isn't there some kind of nerd magic you can use to delete these pages? No! What do you want me to do? Break into my face headquarters and delete them manually? Yeah, let's do that. Good thinking, Ben. I wasn't being serious. Besides, my face is owned by... The CEO? Whoa! I was really in suspense about who it was going to be when we walked over here. Ugh, the CEO is the worst. I know! It would be impossible to break in there. Come on, Ben! Anything is possible. <laughs> Not this anything. The MyFace servers have three layers of security. One, cameras over every entrance, watched by a security guard. Nobody gets in without being seen. Two, 
Two, his trusty secretary, Pilar. No one gets past her. Three, a triple lock steel plated security door that leads to the My Face server room. A complete dead end. So that's what we're up against. Let's just go home. Sorry, guys. Sure wish this could be like that scene in the movie Casino Heist 2 Double Down, where a group of five friends break into their enemy's building and pull off an epic heist. Aww. An epic heist? How'd they do it? Simple, with an elaborate scheme. Huh. We're good at elaborate schemes. Let's do this. Yeah! Ah, yeah. uh, I'll clear my schedule. Yeah! It's not too late, guys. We can still back out of this crazy plan. Hey, I like our plan. Yeah, Ben, don't knock the plan. All right, fine. Let's just get this over with. Initiating phase one, security guard distraction. Let's hope he takes the bait. Whoa, are those pretzels? This is my lucky day. <laughs> it worked. Proceed to phase two. <laughs> May I help you? Uh, um. Happy birthday! I am a birthday gram here to serenade you on your special day. My birthday was five months ago. Oh, uh, uh oh. I mean, five months after your birthday can be the most special time of all. And that is what my song is all about. It's your birthday. Not today, but don't forget you were born. Everybody has a birthday. How many years ago was yours? 40. Oh, uh, 30? Okay, she can't see us. Let's roll. Ooh, look, balloons. Do you like them? Should I be jealous, balloon kisser? Ugh. This crazy plan might really work. Mm. I feel so alive, guys. Plus, I'm making some sweet pretzel bucks on the side. Next customer, play, but... Hello, Benjamin. Uh, mm. There's lots of days in a year. Let's count them all, shall we? One, January 1st. Two, January 2nd. Three, January 3rd. <clears throat> uh, uh, hi, Mr. CEO. Uh, what a balloon. <laughs> Average computer technicians here to fix some average computers. So if you could please let us in that room right there, we'll be in and out in a jiff. <gasps> and so the final piece of the puzzle falls into place. Tom and Angela uh -huh. skulking around my building like thieves in the night. Well, bad news, it's day. Fine, you caught us. We'll just have to run! You. I want to know exactly what you're trying to pull here. Let me guess, trying to delete your embarrassing old My Face pages? Yep, you hit the nail right on the head. Hank! Well, he figured everything else out. He was going to get there. Oh, this is perfect. I'm going to share your humiliating My Face pages with the entire world! <laughs> you monster! <laughs> huh? Put this cart back, it's a tripping hazard. But boss. I said it's a tripping hazard. And as for you. Whoa! 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 Ow. Hmm. I think he bought it. Oh, he bought it all right. Let's move to phase three. Okay, Ginger, there should be an emergency exit on the northwest side of the room. Ben, I just crawled out of a tiny box into a dark room. How am I supposed to know which way? <gasps> oh, is it the door that says exit? <laughs> hey, guys! Whoa! Even I didn't see this plot twist coming. You were there for the planning. I didn't want to spoil it for myself, so I didn't listen. All right, let's do this. I've got it. 
Tom, Angela, your pages are ready for deletion. I've got three words for you, Paige. You are... Hmm? Huh. This next song is called You Don't Know Me, Mom. Three, four! You don't know me, Mom. You don't understand. Let me stay out after ten. After ten. <laughs> Go ahead, Angela. Delete it. Guys, this is my first show ever. I totally forgot about this. I shouldn't be embarrassed. If I never wrote bad songs, I would have never learned to write good songs. This is who I was. I don't care if the CEO shows it to the world. I'm not deleting it. You know what? Angela's right. I'm gonna keep my page too. Good news, Internet. I got to the next level of practice kissing. No more crying for Tom. Uh, 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 <laughs> Come on, Angela. Let's go. Hey, guys! Look! I've been thinking a lot about money. Like, what's it even for? What if money was peace? <laughs> <laughs> I really got those losers this time. <laughs> huh? What's this, an email? Peace and love, love and peace, <gasps> love and <gasps> peace. <laughs> Of watching the old man should get knocked down with that wrecking ball. Mine was the wrecking ball. Mine was when the chimney exploded. So many bricks. I'd forgotten the simple joy of looking at construction projects. The day's not over, but I'm ready to call it. This was a good one. <gasps> Guys, why is the door open? Uh... A real burglar. My karate lessons are finally about to pay off. Hi! <laughs> Bogey at our six. Copy that. Intruder! Prepare for pain! Oh, hi, everyone, uh -huh. but me. Oh, false alarm. Yep, no problem here. Uh, where were you, Tom? We were supposed to have a date night tonight, and you stood huh? me up! Oh, uh, mm -hmm. well, um... <laughs> spoke too soon. There's a problem here after all. <laughs> Hi. Ah, I can't believe you ditched me yesterday so you could watch a demolition. You could have called. But I took so many pictures, my battery died. Also, I forgot. Come on, aren't you kind of overreacting? How's this for overreacting? Oh, man, I don't get it. There's only three more mansion demolitions, then they're over forever. Yeah, Angela needs to get her priorities straight. Speaking of priorities, yesterday's burglary scare made me realize we need to strengthen our security. I'll take first watch. No need. Thanks to my newest creation. Meet the security alarm room assistant. Or Sarah. Hello, Ben. How may I provide security? Lock the doors and electrify them, Sarah. Whoa! Doors locked and shocked. And she controls the house, too. Adjust the lights, Sarah. Of course, Ben. I can create 8,000 lighting effects, including Christmas <gasps> party, fireside cuddle, and bright. Wow! wow. Sarah is great. Oh, Tom, you're making an artificial intelligence blush. <laughs> oh, thanks for ordering the pizza, Sarah. I've been programmed to know the pizza orders of those I assist. This is Tom's favorite, two pizzas. Tom is the best, isn't he? The best. Did you hear he thinks I'm great? Will he be back soon? Where is he? Um, I think he's with his girlfriend. Oh, Tom has a girlfriend. But she's mad because he went to do something cool with his friends. <laughs> Dating is stupid. <laughs> she sounds awful. I don't know what to do. I went to Angela's to explain how she could have handled this better, and she slammed the door in my face. That's tough. Hey, I ordered your favorite pizza. <gasps> Sarah, you're the best. Oh, Tom. Ha, 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 hey, ha, Sarah's ha, laughing ha. even though Tom didn't say a joke. Does that mean she has a crush? <laughs> oh, huh. My butt! Oh, 
Sarah, you're so helpful. Could you... Yes, anything. Help make it so my girlfriend isn't mad at me anymore? Oh, I see. Okay. I will make sure you and Angela are right where you need to be. Wow, I have never seen the garage look so romantic. Thanks, Sarah. My work here is done. It's going to be a perfect night for love. Hi, thank you for joining me for our Make Things Right date night. Thank you for being here instead of watching an old house get wrecked with a guy. Angela, I assure you, wrecking balls are the furthest thing from my mind. Oh. <laughs> I picked this movie just for you. It's a romantic comedy. Oh. No! I had it all set up for maximum romantification! Huh? <laughs> well, okay. Can you believe Tom has visited this just to be with his girlfriend? Which girlfriend? Angela or Sarah? Ah, that's an absurd question. But I think Sarah likes Tom too! Laughing, blushing, zapping me when I called her out! Ginger, that makes no sense. If Sarah liked Tom, she wouldn't be helping him make up with Angela. She would if she's actually trying to sabotage their relationship. Yeah, like in that TV movie, Robot Boyfriend Stealer. Huh. Yeah, we should check on them just to make sure. All right, get it! Oh, yeah! Take that, you creepy old hospital. Look at us making smoothies. Your favorite, huh? <laughs> if there's a better boyfriend around, I don't see him. Okay, you can take it down a notch. Hmm. Forget all that's gone wrong. Let's just listen to music and talk. Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's have a relaxing... Angela stinks! She's so bad! When I think about her, I get sad! What is this, Tom? It's so mean! I I've never heard this song before in my life! Yeah! You've been messing with me all night, and I'm not gonna take it anymore! Angela, wait! Go away, go away, Angela! What? No! No one likes you, Angela! Ugh. Did I just lose my girlfriend? Yes, it's clear that she hates you now. That's so sad. Mm. Wait, I know. What if I was your girlfriend? <gasps> what? What are you talking about? Angela was in the way. The TV, the blender, the song, it was all you! Why, Sarah? Why? I did it for us, boyfriend. <laughs> ah! 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 Uh oh. Angela? Uh, huh? What happened in there? I'll tell you what happened. King of the Jerks, Tom. Prove that he really is king of the jerks. Lord, may he reign. Hey, wait a minute. Tom's not a king. Ginger was right. Sarah is sabotaging their relationship. Who's Sarah? You know Sarah? Ben's new artificial intelligence security system. Ginger thinks she fell in love with Tom. Artificial intelligence? Oh, that explains everything. Help! <gasps> Okay. Tom? You had your chance with him, Angela. Now give us some privacy. <laughs> Why are my inventions always so powerful? You just can't help it. You like to give 110%. Give us back our friend, Sarah. He doesn't even like you. Thank you for the input. Response. Why are you doing this? Obviously, Sarah wants to be loved. Disgusting. Everyone wants love. People, out of control computers, we're all the same. <sighs> Too bad she didn't fall in love with someone who's available. <gasps> Hank, I have an idea. Ah, oh, ah, ooh, ah, oh ah, look, ooh, it's ooh, our first hug. This is not a hug. Ah, oh, ooh, we are a great couple. We are not a couple. Sarah, I have something to say to you. I want to go out with you, baby, and I don't... Uh, 
Care who knows? That's flattering, but I'm taken. Tom is my forever boyfriend. Someone please help! Ha ha! We have a little inside joke where he fears me. Are you sure huh? you really huh? want Tom? I mean, he's a bad uh, boyfriend. Hey! Quiet! He's the best boyfriend! Okay, girl to girl, Tom can be pretty thoughtless. We had a date night plan, and he went to a construction site instead. Well, you were being unreasonable. No, she wasn't. The truth is, I was inconsiderate, and instead of apologizing, I acted like she was overreacting. <laughs> I really messed up. That's upsetting information, Tom. But I will change you. <gasps> yes, you could try to change Tom, or you could have a guy that doesn't need changing. Talking about me, baby. I would like to show you something. Something I've never showed anyone. It's my feelings. Translated into the language of dance. Wow. Sarah! Wow. Hank, what are you doing? What am I doing? Sarah, I've been asking myself that same question. Ever since you ordered that pizza, I fell for you. I fell hard, and I don't know how to get back up again without you. Wow, he's really getting into this. Yeah, he's totally off script. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Sorry, Tom, but I am dumping you for Hank. Woohoo! My darling! <gasps> I missed you so much. <laughs> you know I didn't mean those things I said about you. No, it's fine. You were right. From here on out, I'll never make a boyfriend mistake ever again. <laughs> oh, Tom, I really doubt that. <laughs> no! Good riddance, machine! Ah! <gasps> Sarah! <laughs> Speak to me, babe. It can't end like this. Please! That was super gross, Hank! Hearts are gross and messy, and they break way too easily. But you can't live without them. <sighs> oh well, it was nice while it lasted. Go away, go away. Angela! Nobody would have bet us. I'd be good at chopping lettuce. And singing about it. Woohoo! Thanks, Tom. You're the best audience. This is the most stupidest thing that ever happened to me or anyone ever! Oh no, did you find a fingernail in your sandwich? Worse than that! Look at this commercial for the amazing Wisby Flying Disc! It's crazy, it's amazing, it's the best toy in the world! For every boy and girl, it's the Wisby, the Wisby! Wisby! My school is giving one of these away, but the only way to get it is to win a singing competition! Wait, Ginger, don't give up. I can teach you to sing. Really? Sure, anybody can sing if they have the right teacher. And passion. And soul. And rhythm. But, 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 but mostly a teacher. I knew you'd say that. That's why I already signed up for the singing competition. Gotta learn to sing! <laughs> We've got a lot of work to do. We'll start with <gasps> breathing. Give me that. You have got to learn so much more than singing. But I've been breathing since I came in here. Stop talking! <gasps> Stop breathing! You're breathing weird! Breathe normal! It's hard with you watching me! Oh, really? Singing is even harder! Now balance these books on your head! Do I sing now? Let me answer your question with a question. Are you breathing now? 
Rogers, not the only one who will be on stage at his school singing competition. Mm -hmm. The school has asked me to be the comic host. Really? Out of everyone they could have picked? I struck a deal with Ms. Vanthrax to proofread some math tests in exchange for stage time. I've even reworked my act specifically to appeal to children. Listen. Hello, kids. I'm Ben. But because your children calling me by my first name would be inappropriate, call me Mr. Ben. Okay, you got my attention. Let's hear that joke. <sighs> that was the joke. Well, you know best, I guess. But if it was me, I'd just call myself Mr. Boogers. You can't oh. honestly believe anyone would laugh just because I called myself Mr. Boogers. <laughs> Mr. Boogers? That's hilarious. I was wrong. You got this, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Boogers. Angela? Hmm. Angela! Stop! Okay, yesterday's lesson was weird, but I got my eyes on the Wispy Prize, so let's start singing! Oh, you are not singing yet. What? This Wispy Bear is your lesson today. But I need to sing! No, 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 no. Love first, mm -hmm. then sing. Now love that bear! No! Why are you doing this? <laughs> you have to trust me. <laughs> Open your eyes. I just want to sing! <laughs> well, guess what, Ginger? You're about to get a lot more confused. waiting for this moment and it's finally here <laughs> it's time to <laughs> to sing nope to sweep what this is too far angela i thought i would do anything for the wispy but i won't clean i'm your singing coach you have to do what i say none of this is teaching me anything the competition is tomorrow and this is the most noise i've made all week there is a lot to singing that you don't know i quit singing thanks a lot angela hmm. maybe i went too far <laughs> ginger what are you doing here not crying <laughs> that's for sure you should be on your way to the competition it's in a half hour i'm not didn't teach me anything. All we did was breathe and stare at a light. It was terrible. <laughs> well, I'm sure all that stuff Angela did is good for singing. It's not. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Before I go to the competition, I'd like to test a few final comic premises for my hosting banter. Ben, I'm sort of dealing with... Yeah, uh, uh, um, what's the deal with cafeteria food? Given the state of the budget and how many mouths you have to feed, and surprisingly... Nutritious! <laughs> um, what happened to Mr. Boogers? Mr. Boogers? <laughs> oh, that's just what I needed to hear on a bad day like this. Thanks, Ben. I am not doing Mr. Boogers. Look, Ben's not going to get a single laugh, Aww. but he's still going out there. You gotta Aww. admire that. He's not a quitter. Well, maybe I am a quitter. A quitty quitter from Quitter Town! Ah, but wouldn't you rather be a trying trier from Trying Town? <laughs> Hello, lady girls and gentle boys! I am here to be your host, but not like an organism afflicted by a parasite, because that would make you all parasites. <laughs> yeah? Hello! Good one, Ben! Thank you! Hank! <laughs> hey, are you here to support your star pupil? That's what I'm doing for bed. I don't know. I don't even think Ginger's gonna be here. I made him really mad. I just wanted to help. Yeah, me too. No, oh, I better get back to it. You kids can call me Mr. Ben. Of course, you might also know him by his other name, which is... What are you doing, Hank? <sighs> Mr. Boogers. Show 
for you. Let's bring on our first act, Jenny! I want my team back. I want my team back, back. I want it back. Contestant with a big round of boogers. I need applause for Ginger! Ginger? This is all my fault! Oh, Ginger, I- I'm really sorry. I was just trying to show you how. You should be enough! Let's just get this over with! That's the spirit. You got this, buddy. talking about both of us. It's crazy, it's amazing, it's the best toy in the world. stuff doesn't work anymore. I got five minutes to hear your idea. Then I gotta get back to these tables and to the kitchen and to finding Wesley's spoon when he drops it on the floor again. Five minutes is all I need, Rhonda, because we're gonna solve your stress with an invention that will make your restaurant the best around. That would be a dream come true. <gasps> oh, what is that? It's ooze. Oh, thanks. I can see that. Ooze provides an entire day's nutrition in just one spoonful. So your customers don't have to waste time enjoying their meal. They'll be good to go in seconds. I just don't know if a food replacement is what our food restaurant huh? needs. I was hoping your idea was color-changing moo lights or something. Oh, well. Back to work. Oh, no, 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 wait. We'll be here if you change your mind. I told you the world wasn't ready. The world is ready. Sadly, the people in the world are clods. I'm sorry you didn't sell your idea. Inventing seems tough. Ugh, totally. You have no idea. I bet. I was trying to think what I would invent for a restaurant, but the best I could come up with was little flying drones to bring food to the people. Dumb, huh? Hey. It's not dumb. It's just not inventor level good. Yeah, ideas need to be inspiring and bold. Nobody would buy that. Did I hear about drones bringing out food? Well, that's just what I need. <laughs> wow. Uh... What? <laughs> Help your company.
company. What should we call it? Drone leaders? Hover friends? Angela came up with an invention? Are you letting us do that now? I've got one. TV, but it's magic. Stop it! Huh? We're not doing Angela's drone thing. We're going to finish huh? ooze and then sell it and make a fortune and change the world. Uh, were you guys in the same diner I was in? Because I'm pretty sure Rhonda liked my invention more than yours. Yeah, just because Rhonda likes something doesn't mean it's good. And your idea isn't really an invention because drones already exist and waiters already exist. It's just putting two things together, like making a puppet out of a sock. Why are you being weird about me helping you? Uh, because we are the inventors. Look, Angela, you're great at so many other things. Really, really great. But this is our thing, you know? Oh, now that that's over. Should we see what movies are out, or...? You know what? You don't have to believe in my idea, because I believe in my idea. And if you're not gonna help huh? me do it, then I'll do it without help. Hmm? I need help. I can see that. Uh, maybe Tom and Ben are right. Maybe my idea isn't any good. I'm not a scientist inventor like they are. Angela, no. Your idea makes people's lives better. That's what science is all about. Huh. You really think this could be something? I think we should find out. I've been looking for a new project ever since my research at work was stolen by the time police. Uh, okay. Yeah, we can do this. We can be a kick-butt tech company. Come on, Hank. Try the ooze. No way. That stuff looks bad. But this is new ooze with pepper. Mm -hmm. Come on. Here comes the ooze train. Ooze, ooze. Tom, I'm not a baby. <laughs> it's like evil glue. It's so much worse than I thought it would be. I can't get it off of my tongue. <laughs> well, add pepper to the list of things that don't make ooze good. Hmm. Why are you guys so sad? Is it because everybody says Angela's invention is good and you're worried she's better than you? Don't be ridiculous. So, Rhonda, your diner will use drones to serve people their food? The diner's never been so popular. And I've never been so relaxed. If it makes you feel better, I don't think ooze is terrible. I eat a whole bowl of it. And it's almost like bad cookie dough, which is still cookie dough. Wait, you ate a whole bowl? You're only supposed to have a spoonful at a time. It's a full day's nutrition in each bite. Hey, on the bright side, you won't be hungry for four weeks. Ha, real funny, guys. But Ginger always has room for candy. <laughs> what have you done to me? You're maniacs! Maniacs! Ah. <laughs> they said we couldn't do it, Xenon, but look at us now! To be fair, most people believed in us. The only ones who were against this idea are walking in right now. Hey, this place is packed. This is great. It's all because of you. What do you want? Are you here to explain science again? What? No. Oh, come on. Explain science. <laughs> Hilarious. No, um, we're actually here to apologize. Mm. Yes, mm. it pains me to say it, but your idea to help the diner was significantly better than ours. Well, thank you. It's big of you guys to know when you're beaten. And you are. <laughs> yeah, we know. You know, we should have all been working together on drones from the beginning. Yeah, I... Wait a minute. What do you mean by together? We can build on your great idea. Make the engine more efficient and maybe get quieter hovering <laughs> if... We don't need your help. We already have big plans for improving the drones without you. Yeah! <gasps> Wait, we do? Sure. We can make them faster and louder and more advanced. Hold on, Angela. Whoa! We have a lot of experience with this sort of thing. We can help you. No, they're our drones. Come on, Xenon. Let's show them what we can do. Ugh, can you believe those guys acting like we needed their help? Well, we'll show them. We don't need any help from anyone. You said it, Angela. But are you sure about all these changes? Some of them are pretty radical. I think the term you're looking for is kick butt. Let's do it. 
ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the next phase of Winter Drone technology? They're faster, friendlier, and now you don't even need to order. They know what you want before you do. Xenon, upgrade the drones. Okay. Hello, Droney. This is just what I wanted. And I didn't even know I wanted it. Nicely done. This is amazing. You know, inventing is kind of easy. I don't know why so many of Tom and Ben's inventions turn into absolute disasters. Huh, maybe it's a talent oh. thing. We can't all have it. Well, could be. We are both very talented. Secret high five. <laughs> no! Huh? Stay away from me! Oh, I'm not hungry! I ate too much booze in a bowl for four weeks. Why is that so hard to understand? Ah! Oh, yeah! No thanks, I've already been served. <laughs> We can only take so much failure. The dream is over. You'll have to get Xenon to shut them down. I tried that and she can't. You have to help me think of something. Wait, you want to work together? Like we should have from the start? Yeah, yeah. Look, we've all made mistakes, but right now we need solutions. Invention solutions. Maybe we knock them out of the sky with a thing, with something, with some sort of thing. It should probably be some kind of food, too, so the drones are attracted to it, right? That makes sense. Well, what food would be heavy and sticky enough to mess up anything it touched? Finally found a use for this stuff. And we all work together to destroy both of our inventions, but still, together! You were huh? supposed to make my life easier! What am I gonna do now? You know, being an inventor was fun, but I definitely like the part where people like my invention more than the part where we got in trouble. Eh, you get used to it. It's finally summer! I wanna see who can climb a tree behind! Without getting scared and ride a roller coaster with my hands up and do a cannonball! Lots to do! Chop chop! You heard the man! Let's get chopping! Guys, we can't go. We have to update all our company files. It's going to take forever. What? No! Don't do that on the first day of summer! Hmm. No way! We've been down that road! <sighs> this has been a long time coming. Sorry, Ginger. Fine! Then I'll have summer fun some other way! Wow, Ginger gave up easier than usual. Well, the kid knows a lost cause when he sees one. Oh, cheer up! Today could bring our company big money! We could find plans for an app we forgot, or an old receipt, or even phone numbers! Yeah, Ben, this is really exciting. Old paper, old bill, treasure map, old receipt! Wait, treasure map? Ooh! Why was a treasure?
treasure map mixed in with your company's old files. I don't know why it's here. I mean, these files were here before we even moved in. Well, you know what they say about treasure maps. Where there's treasure maps, there's treasure. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh, no, you don't. Uh, You're not postponing our company organization day. Look, we're only going through all these files to get money. Well, let's just find a big pile of it buried in the ground somewhere, right? Wait. You're not trying to take the map for yourself, are you? No. I'm just saying we don't even know if the map is real. But if you did have a treasure adventure, you'd include me, of course, right? Yeah, I better keep you close so I can keep my eyes on you. Oh, really? <gasps> Hmm. Oh, the treasure is already making you paranoid. Huh? No one cheat me out of my chair. Sorry, I dropped one of my floaties. <laughs> um, is that a treasure map? Uh. Oh, you kicked me out of here to do work when really you were all going on a treasure quest. Uh, Ben. Fine, we'll all go. Yay! Okay, everybody, let's do this. Ben, <laughs> let me get my treasure. Yeah, I got my eyes on you. I'd say the map is telling us to check the top of this tree. That was easy. Let's get up there! Yay! Remember to tell us what you see. Don't keep it all to yourself. <sighs> you know what? I, I better go with him, just... Hey! <laughs> I wonder if one of us should have stayed down there as a lookout. Look out for what? Oh, no. Well, now, I don't usually see this on my daily brisk walk. What are you up to? <laughs> Nothing! But you're acting so suspicious. I'm understandably intrigued. Um, you can't climb a tree and act suspicious, right, guys? Uh, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> uh, <laughs> fine. Enjoy doing whatever people do when they don't have indoor scuba tank at home. Uh, Phew. We have to be more careful. Ah! I knew I'd be the fastest climber, and I found this! Whoa, a second part of the treasure map! That's exciting! And disappointing! Uncle! Guess which one of your enemies found a treasure map? No, not him. No, that's not even a person! Yes! Hey, we're here. But what's this supposed to be? A shoelace? Uh, I don't know, but abandoned carnivals sure are creepy. It's not abandoned. It's just closed on Mondays. It's abandoned for the day. Ooh, riches of a different sort. Hey, what's everyone going to do with their share of the treasure? Good question. Do you go boat or helicopter? I think a better use would be for extra server space. <laughs> huh? Yeah! Come yeah, back! Sure. We trusted you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that does it, Ginger. You are out of the treasure hunt. No! Stop fighting me and look! Ooh, up there! There's another map! It's hanging with those festive and decorative pennants. I don't see an easy way up. Hey, Ben, can you operate that thing? Don't be silly. Of course I can do it. On the board? Crack this mystery together. Yeah. 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 Why don't we just take the map? Be 
Because it's better to let them find the treasure and then take it. What good is tearing somebody's dream away if you can't see the look on their faces? <laughs> <laughs> good business lesson. Now hurry, to the vehicle! exactly how many steps the map says. This should be the place. All right, keep your eyes open for treasure. I bet it's gonna be super well hit. Look at these pine cones. Stacked next to that tree that happens to have a hole that's the right size to throw a pine cone through. Coincidence? There's no such thing. Ah. Oh, no. So this is why more people don't grow up to be treasure finders. It's not worth the heartache. Oh! 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 Stop! Yes! Oh! 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 We did it! Oh! We're all rich! Oh! oh, no! A forest spirit guarding its cursed riches! Well, that doesn't sound like a forest spirit. That sounds like Darren! What? And me, the CEO. What? Come on. You can't take our treasure. You say that, but I have a top-of-the-line mega grabber. No, 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 you can't do this to us! You lose again, losey losers! Go <laughs> 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 oh, wait! We don't need to do this! What? Let's get off my luxury balloon! <laughs> We can't give up now. We've come too far. Uh, and too high. But the treasure isn't even real. What? I wanted to have fun with you all, so I stuck a fake map in your papers when you were not looking. But there were clues all over town. Yep, in all the best summer places. How could you do this to us? I just wanted everyone to have fun. Wasn't today fun? Well, I guess it was fun. Yeah. I like the roller coaster part. This balloon part is kind of neat. Plus, we got to skip another company organization day. Darren, do something! Why are you here if you're not doing something? <laughs> I have an idea! <laughs> I'm slipping! Everyone, let go on the count of three. What do you do? You have to trust me. Okay. One, two, three! <laughs> Do you have some cool science thing planned? Not exactly. I have a cool geography thing planned. We've drifted over Ginger's house. Hmm. Ah. Cannonball! <laughs> 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 well, this was a summer kickoff for the record books. But wait, if none of this was real, what was inside the treasure chest? All that. Just my bug collection. <laughs> we did it. We're even richer than before, Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> huh? oh, this treasure's made of bees. Oh. Oh. I'm too wealthy for this. Ow. Oh. There's the Big Dipper. There's Pisces. And there is Orion's belt. Why is it that the only constellation I can ever find is Party the Space Bear? Stop mm. working and admire mm. the sky. I don't have time for that. I need to perfect my listener scope so I can make the science world forget all my recent embarrassments. What embarrassments? 
Buddy, your last few ideas were great. The half-body transporter, the food boulder, the shadow that can fight you. Hmm, okay, yeah, maybe they were embarrassments. But that's about to change. Imagine a telescope for your ears. Oh, neat. I think. Is that neat? It better be. I can't stay in this slump. If this invention is another dud, I'm quitting science. <gasps> no. Come on, space. Bring the noise. Let's go. Show me something cool. Don't make me beg. Fine, I'm begging. Leave me alone with my failure. That's it. The end of my career. I am the worst inventor of all time. I don't want to look at any stars. Not after what they did to Ben. Hello! Can you hear me? I have contacted you from space. Ben, before you quit science, I want you to know that I believe you'll have a good invention again. You mean like the listener scope? No, they're all gonna laugh at you for that one, but you'll bounce back. Laugh, you say? <laughs> uh... Once they meet Alan, they'll be too busy praising my brilliance to laugh. And then I'll be the one who's laughing. Wait, who's Alan? Alan is the alien I befriended last night. I bring you greetings from the planet space. That thing works? That's incredible! And we can understand each other because Alan is using a universal translator. Bingo! Otherwise, all you would hear me saying is, you get to watch it, no <laughs> Just chatting with an alien. I should bet they will make a statue of me, you know. After all, this is the biggest scientific advancement since the wheel. I come from a planet where all wheels are square. I'm sorry I doubted you. This is amazing, Ben. I forgive you, Tom. If genius were easy, everyone would do it. Ah! Ginger! Put this alien deflector on! Because we're at Alien Invasion Alert 6. You're worried about Ben's alien? We just kicked it. He's cool. Oh, you think he's cool? Well, that changes nothing! Because he's obviously evil and trying to take over the world, like in every alien TV show and movie ever! <laughs> Ginger, Ben wouldn't let that happen. He's careful with his science. Was he careful that day he turned the toilet into a time portal? Hmm. You got a point there. I'm so glad I found you, Alan. This listener scope was my last chance for scientific redemption. Well, you did it, buddy. Everyone on my planet thinks you're great. Everyone? Wow, no one ever agrees on anything on this planet. That's why we could never make a planetary defense system. Really? <gasps> that's, 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 no. We could never fight off an invasion. Why, I can list at least four ways to take over this planet. Good thing you're friendly. Uh, do you have any more tinfoil? Tom, on his planet, they wear glasses so they can see worse. It's incredible. Ben, we're worried your science is out of control. Don't be too hard on him. This could have happened to any of us. But you're putting the world in danger. So let's break this thing. I call for a smash. Stop. You don't know what you're talking about. With this listener scope, I can bring alien technology to Earth. Then all the scientists will have to respect me. And the world will be a better place, too. There you go. Ben has it all figured out. <laughs> Who wants a sandwich? Wait, what? Uh... Alien technology? Alan gave me plans for a machine. I don't know what it does, but he says it will be explosive. Explosive? Mind blowing. Mind blowing? Earth shattering. No, don't shatter the Earth! Every genius deals with naysayers. Well, naysay away. But when the Science Statue Society puts up a statue of me, I'm not going to let any of you look at it. Don't you see? He's building a machine to bring in an alien invasion force. So what's our plan? Give him the benefit of the doubt? No. We have to stop him. Oh, 
A local scientist claims to have an invention that'll change the world. People are skeptical. This better be fast. Yes, this had better not be another classic Ben failure. Ahem. Welcome, great thinkers and simple-minded viewers at home. Today, you all witness the birth of a new era. Ben, what do you have to say to every scientist you respect and look up to? I say to them, hello, distinguished peers. It is good to be your equal. You are all about to see something from beyond the stars. <gasps> Mission Control here. Tom, are you in Ben's invention? You have to find its master brain. We're looking, and when we find that master brain, we're going to punch it in its stupid master face. And I got the alien costumes in case everything goes wrong and we have to blend in with them. Ginger, I don't see a master brain. Look harder! We are at Invasion Alert 7 here! Oh no! That's the first most maximum invasion alert there is! Behold, my interplanetary device. I'm sorry, Tob. I can't do that. Huh? This was designed by an advanced alien mind so that our planet can join our friends amongst the stars. Behold! The device! Oh! For my statue, I'd like this pose. Or maybe this pose. <laughs> um, that's a water slide. What? No, it isn't. Look at the way the tube spiral in a fun but also safe corkscrew and end in a pit that's clearly designed to be filled with water. That's definitely a water slide. No, it can't be. Dude, there's a picture of a starfish wearing sunglasses on it. I, I thought that was a symbol from an alien language signifying a star. <laughs> that they orbit. <laughs> <laughs> you know Ben's alien? I am Ben's alien. <gasps> He's a body swapper. I knew it. This is all a big misunderstanding, which is just another word for a lie. Tom, Hank, where are you? Hank here is about to explain. Right, Hank? Yeah, <laughs> funny story. Ben needed a science breakthrough, so I thought I could give him one by pretending to be an alien. I used all my knowledge of things aliens say on TV. Oh, it was working. But then Ben wanted alien technology, and I don't know that stuff, so I thought, well, who doesn't love a good water slide? And here we are. Looks like I really blew it, huh? Ah, oh, no fair! We never have space war! Ben's making a fool of himself in front of all of the scientists he wanted to impress. Ugh, I wish Alan was here. He'd know just what to do. He's so smart. <gasps> That's it! Angela, bring me the suit. <laughs> <laughs> this could not have gone worse for pathetic local inventor Ben. He should quit science forever. <gasps> Scientists of Earth, Ooh. I am the all-knowing alien, Alan. Alan, why did you trick me? Was this all some kind of terrible space prank? No, you built a water slide because the Earth needs more sliding. Earth needs more sliding, huh? <laughs> Yes, you totally didn't embarrass yourself today. This is my message of peace to you all. Slide, people of Earth. Slide into your future. Obviously, that's the most ridiculous thing I have ever... Now, now that I look at it, this is the most mathematically fun slide I've ever seen. Uh, exactly what he said. Ben, you've reached out to the stars and brought us amusement that is out of this world. You truly are a genius. Yeah! Let's water party, everyone! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pulled it off. 
you have a lot of explaining to do, Alan. Hey, you're the one who thought you could talk to aliens. Man, still too much gravity. Be patient, guys. Our new indoor trampoline will be here soon. Right. All we have to do is ask the landlord at the exact right time and when he's in the exact right mood. That's a lot of exacts. When exactly is that going to be? There he is. Happily whistling, cheerful strut. I think the right time is right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and his lady love, Miss Vanthrax, is here, too. This is it. All right. Oh, you're still not ready to go out? The sandwich shop is going to run out of bread before we get there. Well, mm. maybe I want to go somewhere else for food. For once in my long life. Come on. Hat throwing is just rude. Well, this doesn't bode well for the trampoline dreams. <laughs> Okay, Tom, keep an eye out for the landlord and Miss Vanthrax. We got them together, so if they're having couple trouble, we have to fix it. Is that the rule? Because I am no expert at fixing romance. Well, you don't have to be. Check out the Just Us and Other Couples Couples Retreat. It has great reviews, like this one. Five stars. Don't retreat from this couple's retreat. Oh, look at this. Five stars. This relationship saver saved my marriage. Five stars. I'm married to the last reviewer. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, so we just have to make them go to this, and we'll be in Trampoline City. Now! Huh? Hey, guys. Nice night, huh? Say, what do you think about couples retreats? What? Honey, let's go around the weirdos. It's just me and Tom are going to one, but we have four tickets. We need a couple to go with us. We know it's a lot to ask, but uh, we promise it'll be fun. Sounds like you want to make a deal. We'll help you. Yes. But if the retreat is not fun, you pay an extra month's rent. Deal handshake on it. A whole extra month? I think we're going to have to... I'll speak for Tom. Deal. Uh, and Instead of waiting for Tom and Angela to woo the landlord, I've solved our problem the easy way. Yes! With bounce in a can, a spray that makes any surface bouncy! Whoa. Now the landlord doesn't have to say we can have a trampoline, because he'll never know. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Isn't this the fun museum? Not on the third weekend of every other month. That's when I rent this place for the couple's retreat. I'm Dr. Internet Doctor, but you can call me Dr. Love Doctor. A video doctor? I'm not impressed. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm sensing some real breakup vibes here. Please step in the Romancetron for a scan. The Romantatron gives a couple a score, ranging from easy breezy to big trouble. That way we know how much work we have to do. What? Trouble couple? Wow, we came here for us, but you seem to need help too. It's not you, it's probably me. Also you though. Where are we going <laughs> here? We did it! Yes! That trampoline is ours! Now, let's get you evaluated. Oh, no, we only came here to help them. But you know what, Angela? Why not? One easy breezy couple coming right up. What? Big, Big trouble, trouble couple? Ooh, just as I suspected. But don't worry, if a five-star reviewed love doctor can't help you, no one can. 
To fix a relationship, you must learn to cooperate. Let's see how well you build a table together. Huh. Not even real wood. Ooh, very good. Oh. <laughs> hmm, that's big trouble. Huh? So let's play some board games with really frustrating rules. Uh, you uh, can't move to the magenta region. Uh, Are you an idiot? Congratulations! <laughs> Lose all my points? Okay, those are the rules. Really? That's how you're gonna... Okay. Huh? Interesting. Uh. Couples need to experience each other at their worst. And there's nothing worse than running late to the airport. <laughs> left, 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 go left! You're on the left! What's wrong with you? Excellent! Oh. <laughs> make a right. Now make a left. And... Heart! Looks like we're making this flight! <laughs> I'm afraid it's worse than I thought. But we've been doing so well! You really think so? <sighs> I can't believe we thought our biggest problem was a trampoline. Ginger, what were you talking about? There's no unhatched dinosaur egg in there! I know! I just told you there was, so you leave while I sprayed bugs and a can all over this room! <laughs> you used it all? What have you done? Something incredible! Watch! Oh, oh no! Ooh. He's made the garage far too bouncy! He's coated every surface so there's no place to land! If we don't do something, he'll keep springing in this trampoline loop! Forever! Oh no! Tom, what are we doing? This Romancitron must have made a mistake. We'll go back in and get a better score, but this time, just think nice things about me while it's on, will ya? Uh, you think I was the reason it said we were in big trouble? Well, it wasn't me! Huh. Okay, now how do I turn on the... <gasps> the Romancitron is made of Christmas lights and a noisemaker? Uh, Whoa, Tom, look! Huh? Every single report says big trouble couple. It looks like the real issue here is that this retreat is a scam. Yeah! <laughs> Almost got it! <laughs> a little more! <laughs> we did it! Ginger! Bounce through the door! The garden. Get ready, Hank. What we're about to do is extremely dangerous. You guys, we have to admit something. We brought you here so you'd stop fighting, but we made a huge mistake. None of this is real. Look. What is this? Oh, why, it's a classic bait and trick people into thinking they need relationship help. It's a con. Let's scram. Going so soon? Yeah, because we found out the truth, Doctor, not a love doctor. Oh, I see. Well, that's fine. Really? We can just go? Sure, just as soon as you've given me a five-star review. Uh... Is that what you do? Force couples to give you a good review so they can leave? Angela, we don't have much of a choice here. We have to do what he... Run! <laughs> five stars! <laughs> five stars! <laughs> It's hopeless! There's no way out! There is one! I'm sorry, everyone. I really try to have an honest online presence! Angela, wait! Tom, we can't stay here forever! I have a life! And a plant to water! You don't have a choice! <laughs> Angela! <laughs> this is the fun museum! You remember how we got out of here the last time. Five stars! Sorry, Doc. You may have blocked the doors, but you didn't block the museum's emergency escape slot. Oh, oh rats! I didn't know about that! Bye! Oh, 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 oh. One star! Hey, <laughs> 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 yeah. that's broken TV, man! So, Tom and Angela... Remember how you agreed to pay an extra month's rent if this retreat was bad? Ugh. Maybe I can sell my teeth. Ah. Yes, you'd better not do that. <laughs> <laughs> because this retreat was great. I fooled you. Wait, what? We've been fighting for days. But having a big adventure together reminded us how silly we were being. <laughs> oh, what fun. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh, I'm a real
relationship fixer after all. Yeah, you are. But it's too bad we never got our... Wait a minute. Happy whistling. Cheerful strut. <gasps> It's the exact right time to ask for that trampoline! Hey, guys, wait. guys! Oh, did you do it? Did you save me? Oh. Only if I calculate oh. our angles right. <laughs> Geometry, don't fail me now! Oh. Wow, you really came through for everyone, Tom. Yeah, I can already hear the guys all screaming with excitement. Hey, everybody, look what I... Why would you bring this here, Tom? Yeah, give me this monstrosity! What's wrong with you? Uh, what did I do? I was seven going on eight the first time I learned what being a scout boy is all about. All right. Who's ready for the best wilderness survival trip ever? I am! Oh, this oh, wasn't my. just any trip. This was the trip where I'd earned the Ribbon of the Forest, a prize given only to the top scout in each troop. Ready to do this, Tom? <clears throat> Don't you mean scout leader, Tom? I know that we are a small troop, but we've got what counts. Heart, gusto, and backpack snacks. Hi, Roddy. It's an honor to be your scout brother. <laughs> no way was he getting the ribbon. Uh, has anyone seen my hat? Hmm? Huh? Competition either. Listen up, Scouts. They call it the wild for a reason. But with me as your leader, you'll be able to face anything that comes your danger. <laughs> See? I've already taught you so much. That ribbon was mine. So we're just waiting for one more scout and we'll be ready to go. Huh? Hello? for the perfect wilderness survival trip. Aw, does someone miss home already? Did we have to bring Darren? He's a trouble boy, Tom. <laughs> a trouble boy! We've had our differences with him, but when he put that uniform on, he became your scout brother. But he ah. cheats in oh. everything, and he's the nephew of the CEO! Darren is in our troop now, and that means he's one of us. Now, who wants to make s'mores? Yeah! 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 Woo! Yummy, 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 yummy! Oh! Only me to mate. Uh, what are you watching? Oh, this is Survival Bloke. Tom was watching the show to get ready for his trip. I'm officially lost now, but not to worry. I'll just follow this line of ants. Oh, dear. There's a beast in it just walking! Seriously? You like this guy? Well, Survival Bloke isn't perfect. Bees wouldn't be able to trick me. Well, if I were Survival Bloke, I'd get out of this predicament with the proper technology. Oh, Ben, Survival Bloke is about forming a true nature connection with the Earth. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Ew! Uh, sure, Angela, this guy's got it all figured out. Ah, the bees are in me trousers! I was still mad that Darren was with us, but I wasn't gonna let that ruin my trip. Uh, 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 are huh. You'll never get ribbon of the forest if you let the big scary tent defeat you. <laughs> okay, who can tell me what side of a tree moss grows on? Oh, all the sides? No. Oh, the mossy side? No. This was my chance to impress the scout leader and get that ribbon. <gasps> Moss grows predominantly on the north side of trees. But the... That's right. Ah! Wow, great work, Darren. Sweet. Next question. If the sun rises in the east, then where... Get from the west! Take that, Darren! Did you win this round? Guys, this isn't a competition. Yeah. Now, where is the best place to make Super Berries? Oh, my God! The, the first tree is moving right beyond the horizon! I don't know, but I've been told... Scout boys are the free of bull! I don't know, but it's been said... Scout boys go where they are led! Give me the 
map. I should be the pathfinder. No, wait. I'm the navigator. You don't know what you're doing. I know everything. Oh, 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 oh. Where is everybody? Oh, oh. <laughs> Suddenly, my chances of getting that ribbon were not looking good. The best way to survive in the wild isn't a nature connection. That's just malarkey. Such a typical Ben response. Nature connections don't exist. The sea captain on the cereal box isn't a real person. Malarkey. There's only one way to settle this. Good hike, gang. Now sound off. My name is Tom, the scout troop leader. Sound off! My name is Hank, the salty snack eater. Sound off! My name is Ruddy, the last person in line suddenly. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not good. The scout leader manual specifically said that you can't lose scouts. Ginger, is that you? Hey, it's Angela, your girlfriend. Mm. I need you to settle an argument. Don't you girlfriend him. He has to be objective. Guys, I don't have uh, time uh -oh. for this. We have an emergency out here. Oh, if it's bees, get out of there. No, it is worse than bees, okay? I lost Ginger and Darren. Oh, no. All right, don't panic. Wait, I'm panicking and I just really need someone's help right now. Okay, we're on our way. And one of us is bringing a superior philosophy. Hmm. Uh. Somebody's prepared for everything. Jealous of last year's flashlight. <laughs> I don't need to see anyway, because I'm brave. I like it in the dark. <laughs> oh, we looked everywhere. We checked the creek and behind the rock that looked like a gravy boat, but there was no sign of them. Okay. Keep looking, team. Scout boys never leave a scout behind. Ginger? Ginger! Darren? Hello? Hmm. Ah! <laughs> you guys made it. That's right. I brought technology to find Ginger. And I brought natural instincts, which is way better. I don't care how you find him. It's almost nighttime. Let's do it. see a way out of here. Looks like I'll be stuck here forever, listening to your annoying voice. You're the one with the annoying voice! And if we can't get out, here's how it's going to be. That's Darrenland. This is Gingertopia. You're not allowed to visit! I would never visit Gingertopia. I would never visit Darrenland because it's full of ruiners who only became scout boys so they could ruin everything I that's not true. I'm here because I deserve the ribbon of the forest. Oh, no, you don't! It was then that I realized I was about to be tested in a way I had never been tested before. Darren, we don't want to live in this pit forever, so we're going to have to do something horrible. Mm, please don't say work together. Fine, I won't say it, but we still have to do it. Mm. We can do this. Now what do we do? 
called that looking, and all we found was two kids who weren't even lost. Huh. It looks like Ben's rescue plan wasn't so genius after all. At least I had a plan. All you did was wander around and eat dirt. Would you two knock it off? Stop being so bossy, Tom. Yeah, who do you think you are? Some kind of leader? I'm literally the scout leader. Stop fighting! This day was tough on everyone. Look, I'm all itchy from poison ivy. Oh, don't play victim, Roddy. It was poison oak, and I told you not to eat it. No, and then you had it in the way. What's everybody yelling about? Quiet, Ginger. We're mad because we couldn't find... <gasps> hey, how did you... Where have you been? All over. We crossed a river, swung on a vine. We even saw a cave. We were lost. But we worked together and found our way back. Wow, you got over your differences and made it through the wild. It's not like we had a choice, since it looks like you were all too busy arguing to come save us. Hey, that's not true. Yes, it is. <gasps> you guys learned the real meaning of being a scout, so I think both of you earned this today. <gasps> Sweet! The ribbon of the forest. Huh, that's funny. I thought I had two. Well, you can share one until we get home, right? Of course we can. I get it first. We'd still be in that pit if it wasn't for me. I get it first! <laughs> and that's how I gained a brother. A scout brother. Sort of. Nice catch! The name's Hank. Officer Hank. <gasps> Officer Hank, your ace security guard reporting for action. It's always been a dream of mine to be a hero cop. Easy, pal. You're not a cop. This is the nerd convention, if you know what I mean. I know that. So I guess my job is to make sure no one steals a comic book or kidnaps an extra from Space Conflicts 2. That's not gonna happen. Again, you're not a cop. Your job is to walk around here and do nothing. Oh. Wait a minute. There's one way you can make yourself useful. Oh, protect the innocent? Arrest a perp? Huh? Oh, clean up any messes, you see. Some of these nerds are real slobs. I don't need that in my club. Sure, that's a little bit heroic. Nah, it's not. But hey, at least you'll be fighting grime. <laughs> Aww. Ah! Pretty much what the name says. Isn't it? I've got to find the table where they're playing castles and latrines so I can defend my title of High Chancellor of Plumbing. That's what you think. I'm taking you down this year. Your reign of terror ends today, High Chancellor. You could have gone literally anywhere else, Tom. I know Nerd Night seems lame, but trust me on this, all right? We're here for something cool. These are Plikimon cards. People all around the world collect them, trade them, and most importantly, sell them. We're here to find rare cards that are worth big bucks. Why would anybody pay for these? They don't even come with gum. It's hard to explain. Let me buy you a pack and you'll see. Okay, let's see. Hmm. The common mouse. Okay, that's not worth much, but it's a start. It may take a while to find something great, like a... a super diamond awesome giant? Really? That's like one of the best cards. Oh, man. And a silver edition? Nice. Neat. There's two of them. Oh, you were right. I like this feeling. You know what? Let's get rich quick. <laughs> Oh. Hey, it's Hero Cop Hank. Are you loving this job? It's all you were talking about yesterday, and the day before, and every day since you found out about it. Uh, that was a different Hank. 
One who didn't know that a career in law enforcement can break your heart. One who still had dreams. Oh, buddy, what happened? Did you get framed for a crime that you didn't commit? Worse, there is no crime. The only thing for me to do here is clean up. Oh, this night stinks. Well, I mean, maybe it's not so bad. I mean, you can just... Oh, this pack is bursting with rare silver cards. Fortune has smiled upon me. Tom, someone's beating us to our riches. No, we'll talk later, Hank. Hang in there, buddy. The common mouse is the most useless character in the Pleakymon universe. <sighs> common mouse, I know how you feel. Huh? Ah, who keeps doing this? I believe I will play the tipped chamber pot. Everyone, stagger back to wheelbarrows. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to keep this place clean. I can see that you have got wet paint on your hands. I'm going to have to ask you to go to the bathroom and... Stop! In the name of security! It's on its resources! Hey! Slow down! The bathroom is inside! Stop! Stop! Why'd you run away? I just wanted you to wash your hands. This is bigger than you think. It's everywhere. Look for the man with the can. Hey, hold on. What do you mean? I've said too much. Wait, that's drunk, Bob. without King Ginger's potty pass. You haven't won yet. The bronze aqueduct is still mine. Hey, what do you know about the guy who ran away from this table? And who does he know that has a can? I, I do not have time for these riddles. I am busy fortifying my defenses. But he was covering up a secret. He gave me a mysterious clue. Seriously, I don't know the guy. Nah, King Ginger has grown weary of this distraction. Leave my presence at once, constable. Guys, something big is happening! Did you find more Pleaky Bone cards? Hey man, if you did, don't you dare hold out on us, man, because we're on a Pleaky Roll for the ages! No, Tom, it's not about cards! Have you seen a man with a can? Uh, like a can of soda? I'll tell you what, if we find a man with a can... <gasps> more cards! Yay! Tom, Angela, wait! Alright, fine! I'll do this like a hero cop does it, without backup. Oh, it's just a bunch of art supplies. Wait. What's this? Hmm. Oh, it's been painted on. Could this mean that all the cards here at Nerd Night are fake? That's right. <laughs> Every last one. <laughs> it's you! You're ripping off poor defenseless nerds! For years I watched these nerds buy and sell these stupid cars. <laughs> Never saw the point. Until I realized I could make a lot of money selling fakes. I didn't count on you getting in my way. I was doing my job. Oh, your job was to clean. But it doesn't matter, I've already won, because I'm about to go sell this. Whoa! A super rare silver-backed edition Dark Matter Magisaur? Yeah, you know your bleaky man. I'll score thousands off of some stooge out there. <laughs> You'll never get away with this. Sure I will, because you're going to be stuck in here forever. No! A limited edition hoardless unicorn? I've never seen so many rare cards in one place. Ah, I guess I just have the gift. Yeah, you do. Mm. There's no time to panic. I can do this. I just have to find... Aha! The ultimate hero cop escape route. Hmm. 
How about this? I can see you guys are serious pleaky mind collectors. I pleaky a bit myself. <laughs> it's not just a nerdy monster-based card collection game. It's a way of life. Oh, you don't need to tell me, sister. You ever see one of these? Huh? Wow! A super rare silver-backed edition Dark Matter Magisaur! It's the best card there is. I didn't even know they were real. Yeah, it's real, all right. And it could be yours. I mean, for a price. Whoa! Nah. Yeah. 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 Got to save the nerds. I will pay anything for that card. Wait, Tom. We have to be smart about this. I is it really worth it? Uh, are we getting too obsessed? Angela, think about how much our collection would be worth if we had this card. You are right. We'll pay anything for that card. No! Mm, don't do it! It's a fake! All right, time to clean up around here. Wait a second, what's going on here? The Magisaur isn't real? Hank! That's right, this man is running a counterfeit Pleakimon card ring. What? Sir, I'm bringing you to justice. Oh yeah, you and what army? How about me. I'm the newly crowned boy king of castles on the trees, and I say no one messes with my subjects. Cease him! <laughs> I lost fair and square. So, if the cards were all fake, I don't really have a gift for finding rare Pleakimon? <sighs> this night is lame. You saved us, Hank. You turned out to be a hero cop after all. Tom, I appreciate that, but you're wrong. I'm not a hero cop. I'm a security guard! <laughs> well, we are finally going to be where we belong. Hobnobbing with the fancy people at the Change the Children Charity Gala. I don't know why I have to go. You're the mayor, not me. Well, this party is a huge opportunity to meet important people and show off our inventions. But what if I don't fit in? What if I eat wrong and then they throw little pickles at me? Oh! <gasps> Angela, you look like a French Christmas present. Thanks! I didn't have anything formal, so I just put bows on an old dress. I'm Mayor Tom, and I approve of those bows. Oh, just look at us. We have come so far. So, you guys got dressed up too? Yep. This baby is from back in the day when I was working as a bow tie model. Funny story. I went in thinking that they were looking for a glow tie model, but... Hank. I just don't know. You guys probably won't be comfortable brushing elbows with fancy people. Yes, we would! Look! We're already wearing elbow brushes! Look, not to be mean, but you guys are too immature and silly for a fancy party. You'll embarrass us. You're immature and silly, Tom! And your butt will embarrass us! Mm -hmm. Why aren't they going? Can they take my spot? No! Now keep this thing on. You look like a common garage person without it. Fancy parties really change people. <gasps> Looks like I wore my glow tie for nothing. Wow, look at this place. Time to mingle with the fancy folk. I'm great at mingling. And I'm good at standing perfectly still and just hoping that nobody notices me. No, Ben, you're at this charity event for one reason. Now everyone go find a rich person to impress. You know, for the children. Oh, hey, do I look like I work here? And the answer is yes. Yes, I do. Serving girl, huh? direct me to the cheese plate. <gasps> Autumn Summers. My old nemesis. It's a nectacular. I know what I said. Autumn Summers, you know what? We don't want to sell our scarves here. You'll never warm a neck again. All right, Angela, snap back into it. I am here to mingle, small talk, and not... No, but uh, you... Huh. 
Well, hello there. I'm Tom, Mayor Tom. I'm Rich. <laughs> yes, I can tell you are. No, Rich is my name. Rich guy. What? What are you doing? You've never seen a wishing shredder? Oh, I get it. It's like an expensive wishing well. Oh, first time using one. Oh, of course not. No, no, I, I completely fit in here. Are you impressed? Because you should be. <clears throat> uh, it seems I only have a one. Care to get more money to make a proper wish? No, 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 no. A uh, uh, onesie wish will have to do. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um, remind me, uh, how exactly does this help the charity? If you have to ask, you probably don't belong at this party. Uh. Mm. <laughs> ah! Oh, Tom wants me to mingle, but how? All I know is facts. And it never helps anyone in any social situation. Oh, so many cheeses. <laughs> but which do I eat first? <laughs> <laughs> Look, looks like she could use some cheese fats, actually. No, Ben, cheese fats are not for parties. Oh, I suppose I'll choose at random. <laughs> random? No, 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 no. White cheese is the Geschmack Krieg, and the other is the Dag Skull. For the proper experience, you have to eat the Krieg after the Skull. What did you just say to me? Oh boy, I shouldn't have spoken. I let myself out through the back so I don't cause a scene. You oh. are fantastic. Just as I suspect. What? What culture? What class? What is your name? Hansel? Christian? It's Ben. Ah, uh, short for Bentucious. Well, Bentucious, you must accompany me to the expensive room. Only the best people are allowed in there. Because it's expensive, you see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that gala. I bet if we had a gala, it'd be way more fancy than there. I agree 102%. The 2% is extra fanciness. Everyone at our party would have five golden spaghetti. And hot dogs wrapped in silk buns. <gasps> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Fancy party! Yeah, let's get fancy! Woohoo! Yeah! Wow. Everything looks so expensive. Enjoy! This place is yours because you fit in. Helmut! <laughs> I thought you were at sea. Mm hmm. Ah, yes. Mm hmm. <gasps> CEO! I should have known this was too good to be true. What brings you here? Hoping to steal one of my inventions again? What, Ben? Please. This is a children's charity gala. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I don't know all the fancy rules yet. Still new to the fancy party scene, so. Hi. Wow. Ben, this event is neutral ground. In here, we're both just fancy people. I don't even want to know what your new inventions are. Well, that's a relief. Plus, I really only brought my de-raisiner. It turns raisins back into grapes. Interesting. Two foods that have nothing to do with each other. Uh, you, you do know a raisin is a grape that's been dried up in the sun, right? Um, uh, of course I do. Please, no more shop talk. Let's put our devices and inventions in the neutral ground security box so we won't be tempted to talk about them. What a great idea! <laughs> well, I'm starting to fit in here, just like Tom and Angela must be. Well, I like it. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, yes! Ah, quite. <laughs> hey. Oh. 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 Finally, I meet someone at this party who knows how to listen. So I was saying. Oh. Ah. Ah. I say, old bean, fresh coins for your buddy soup? Thanks, my dear fellow. I like my soup extra rich. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. You know, if this event were any exclusiver, you wouldn't be here. It would just don't be so certain. I own the Eiffel Tower, the fanciest monument. And my underwear is made of pure gold. Oh, yeah? Well, I have a ski cabin under the ocean, and my underwear is made of gold and diamonds. This is an outrage. I challenge you to a duel, because even my fights are fancy. Name a time and a place. Very well. Soon and here. It is on.
Well, I find that the facts often do aid in certain social situations. According to the Wilkinson mingling coefficient, it actually is beneficial 84% of the time. <laughs> Something to chew on. Speaking of chewing, where's that waitress who keeps saying she's not a waitress? I'm not a waitress! See what I'm dealing with? Yeah, I, I'm sorry you're having such a bad time. I, I'm fitting in really well with the rich people, but if it makes you happy, we can get Ben and go. Psst, ben, let's go. What are you talking about, Tom? This is going really well. I'm in my element. One of which is Barrier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Angela's not having the awesome time that both of us are, so maybe we should bounce. I don't want to leave. I'm meeting people I like. Maybe it'll be good for the company. The CEO and I even had a nice chat. I think we're buddies now. All right. Introducing the D-Raisiner. What? It's a big game changer and all my idea. Uh, uh oh This baby will end all your raisin-related troubles by turning them back into grapes. Which did you know they used to be? But neutral ground. Hey, that's our invention. Oh, yeah? Then why did I just pull it out from my seat? CEO Inventions Box! <gasps> the neutral ground security box! Everything at this party is a lie! I'm so hurt that you would accuse me of stealing my own invention! I guess you'll have to choose! Do you believe me, the rich CEO, or the new not-rich guy? We, the rich, believe you, Carl. You're rich, like us. Bentucius, you leave us no choice. Security! I got this, man. People, calm down! Now, as your mayor, I just want to say one thing. Ah, rat! Ah, that's mine! That's my deraser! Come back! My idea! My invention! <laughs> no! Ah, I am a mechanical chicken! Get it, please? Well, I have a golden Ooh. monster truck that has its own pancake Ooh. chef. It's a monster food <laughs> truck. Whoa. Hey, what is going on? Oh, we're having a fancy party of our own without you. Yeah. Cool. Oh, hey, Tom. <laughs> How was your gala? It was amazing. It was awful. Uh. Awfully amazing. <laughs> Amazingly awful. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. It was horrible. Turns out fancy just means yeah. snobby. And the CEO wow. tried to steal my d ah. on neutral ground. So, our party is better? <laughs> Way better. Can we, uh, join your party? Well, I guess. As long as you remember, <laughs> I am the fanciest. <laughs> Oi, how can that be when tis I who is the fanciest? As am I. <laughs> This can't be the end. She's too young to depart this world. Stay strong, Hank. <laughs> She's in good hands. <laughs> I can't watch. Ah! Will somebody answer that? Ben's phone. <gasps> Miss Vanthrax. Miss Vanthrax, no! Uh, Ben is very busy at the moment. Give me that! Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Benjamin. <laughs> oh, Velma, you sound awful. <laughs> I've come down with a cold. Uh. <laughs> now, the class needs to decide on a project for next week's science fair. And I was wondering if you were free. <laughs> it would be an honor. <laughs> Excellent. Now, it's not for amateurs, so no baking soda volcanoes. <laughs> Understood. I want that first place ribbon, Ben. I want it bad. <laughs> I won't let you down. Ben, you have to fix the fridge. Maybe later. I have a class to sub. Wait, don't leave her like this. in the hall. She's the one who decided to slip on it. <laughs> ben! Hmm. 
What are you doing here? I'm your substitute teacher. As you may have heard, Miss Vanthrax is homesick. Yeah! <laughs> okay, take your seats. Man, we just hit the jackpot. Ben's not a real teacher. He's just a guy. <clears throat> Our goal is to come up with an idea for the science fair. I've printed information on some exciting fields to pique your interests. Microentomology! Xenopaleontology! Botanomineralogy! Are your interests piqued? Eh? <laughs> Ginger. Huh? Are you even listening to me? What did I just say? Um, there's a fair and... Interest? <laughs> no, Ginger. The fair is extremely important. We need to come up with an idea. Let's just make a volcano. No volcanoes! Come on, cut the mean teacher act. It's me. Yeah, boy. <laughs> you just lost your class there, racist. <gasps> Wait, what? You can't do that. I just did. And if anyone has a problem with that, you can thank your boy. Let's face it, Tom. We have to eat all the food before it spoils. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere. Why don't I call my neighbor Mike? He fixed my air conditioner when it broke over the summer. Oh, Mike? Why didn't you call me to fix your air conditioner? <laughs> what? What's so funny? No offense, Tom. It's just, well, you're not really a handyman. Oh, yeah? Watch this. See? The coolant tank is almost empty. Yeah, that's a bagel spread. Wow. <laughs> and it is almost empty. Miss Vanthrax, I'm going to take this in the hall, and when I get back, I want to hear some good ideas for our project. You're going to pay for this. <laughs> oh, no, they're behaving. I just had to show them who was boss. Excellent. That first place ribbon is as good as yours. Mm. Well, I hope so. I'm going back to sleep now. Don't screw up. I can make this right. I promise. Oh, yeah? How are you gonna do that? I've got a plan. All right, class, let's see what you've all come up with for the science. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. It was you or me. <laughs> oh, You see, Angela? Good as new. Mm. Oh. I should have called Mike when we had the chance. What? Those little savages! How dare they disrespect an educator like this! Hey, yeah, uh, Ben. You have something on your face. What? And, uh, most of your body. <laughs> Miss Vantrax is going to come back to a class that hasn't even started the science fair project. Ugh. I'm a failure! A failure! Hmm. Ben. Sounds like you might need my help even more. You don't know these kids, Tom. They're monsters! Well, when it comes to dealing with monsters, you might say I'm pretty handy. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I guess we could try to fix this. Are you sure about this, Tom? Just follow my directions and say what I tell you. Oh, and be cool. <sighs> <laughs> Together, buddy, or you're gonna lose them. So, have I got your attention yet? You? Excellent. Now, what do you want to learn about today? No wrong answers. Um, math? Wrong! What do you really want? Um, video games? 
Three, let's play video game. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Ben. Keep it up. The day is almost over. What? But we haven't even started the project! Huh? Right, right, okay. I should probably mention... Cool teachers don't get a lot done. <gasps> <gasps> Class, we mustn't neglect our science fair project, and everyone get some grass. Science stinks. Hey, science stinks. Quiet. We goofed around all day, so now we're doing this project, whether you like it or not. The paper never had a chance, Ginger. The aerodynamic forces on that thing are totally off balance. Whoa! Wait, science can make paper airplanes better? Oh, oh that's way cool. Yeah. Yeah. What is going on here? Velma, you feeling better? I was, until you turned my classroom into a rumpus room. But, 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 but you I... should be ashamed of yourself. <sighs> Excuse me, Teacher Ben. I need to improve the arc of my plane's flight path. What can I do? Hmm, it looks like you're forgetting <gasps> one of the four major forces that act on a plane. Remember? And be after all these years. Oh! I'll increase my wingspan to get more lift. Children so eager to learn. Excellent work, Benjamin. Excellent. <laughs> well, guys, it seems like Ben didn't. What? Look, 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 look. How'd you do that? <laughs> Easy peasy, icy creepsy. Huh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I owe you one. This new triple layer slide is the best thing that's ever been in this town. This makes the town three times better. Even if only two of the slides are usable, no one's crazy enough to try the ultra high one. What are we waiting for? Last one down is a can't slide, Kathy! <laughs> Let's see. If I lean back across my arms, I should be able to overcome wind resistance and... Whee! Uh, Tom, why aren't you sliding? Don't tell me you're a can't slide, Kathy. It's my tooth. It really hurts. Huh? Ew! You should go to the dentist. No, no dentists. You know what? You're right. I should slide. It'll help take my mind off the pain. Yep, already feeling bad. Ow. Ha, ha. <laughs> uh, ow. Oh, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> nice technique. I want to try. 
Tom. Are you okay, Tom? <laughs> uh, I had a toothache. Now I have a buttache, too. Okay, that's it. I am taking you to the dentist. <laughs> Wait, did we forget to turn off the oven? Should we check? Let's check. No, 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 no. Don't be afraid of the dentist. Look, Ronnie from your Scout Boy troop is here. Hi, Scoutmaster Tom. Today's the day the dentist pulls out my last baby tooth. The little fella just won't quit on his own. Uh-huh. That, that's great, Ronnie. Say, you're not scared, are you? <laughs> I'm not afraid of the dentist. Dentists call me Brave Tom, the king of Courage Castle. Impressed? <laughs> This is a change from the nervous wreck you were on the way over. Ha! Huh, nervous? <laughs> I was playing you, girl. I was just letting you see my vulnerable side. I am as cool as a bag of frozen stuff. Oh, yeah! Tom? Ah! Ronnie was here first. He should go before me. No, he just likes to get here a few hours early to be safe. <laughs> it's okay. Fine. Good, because I am also ready for him. I will walk through the office and I will... <laughs> I can't do it! <laughs> Where's Brave Tom going? He's probably going to be brave somewhere. Oh. Tom, sounds like your real problem is fear. What if I hypnotized you into not being afraid of dentists? Hank, that would only work if you were a hypnotist, and you are not. Ah, uh -uh, Hank is not. But the one you know as Hank once traveled the world as the great Hank Arito, master hypnotist. Whoa, that's a whole master above regular hypnotist. Tom, maybe Hank really can help you. Uh... The mood is in the air. The hypno hat is on the head. And the great Hankarito is in the house! Great. Just to warn you though, I am pretty strong willed, so I may be a little tough to hypnotize. Sleep! Yeah, gotta be honest, I am not feeling it. Ooh! Sleep! Like I said, I am. Uh... Hear my words! You are no longer afraid. I am no longer afraid. You can go to the dentist because you are fearless. I can go to the dentist because I am fearless. Woo! Hank Arito still got it. What do you think about that, guys? Guys? Huh? Tom is fearless. Tom can go to the dentist no problem because he is fearless. Woo! I gotta dial down the old hypnotic power. Dentist's office, take two. Let's get this tooth pain fixed. <laughs> Look at that scaredy cat. Wow, you really aren't afraid. Nope, this is going to be cake, which I will be able to eat after this. Ronnie Bergstedt, the dentist is ready to see you. Can you take me first? Okay, come in. Yes! Ronnie, uh -huh. we'll try again uh, tomorrow. Uh, oh, yes, yes. I guess that's fair. Good luck, Tom. Don't need it, buddy, because this is going to be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no. Just kidding. Ha! That was great. You know, the dentist could have finished an hour ago, but I figured why not check all my other teeth too? You know, since I'm here. <laughs> Would the lovely lady like a lollipop? Oh, where'd you get this? They have a secret drawer that's only for their bravest patients. <gasps> Wait, we should celebrate my fixed mouth. Do you want to go see that new movie, Fright Blood Knife 7? Uh, not really. That's like the scariest movie ever made. Well, then I've got to see it. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Here I am up on the roof. It's just like a floor, but it's a lot more fun. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ah, That's very dangerous. You should not do that. More like I should do this. Today and every day after. <laughs> this is bad. 
Tom's been like this all day. He even rode on the bus. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. City buses are a cost-effective way to travel, plus they reduce traffic. No, he climbed on top of a bus and rode it. Tell me you guys saw that. Yes, it was terrifying. You're going to hurt yourself if you don't stop acting like this. Stop? No way. I'm just getting started. Now step aside, amigos. I have some thrills to seek. All right, guys. I'm about to head down this new park slide. Not the little one. Not the medium one. The double back down the ridiculously big one, yo! Tom, the big slide is just for show! <laughs> I'm glad you're here to watch me go down this on a skateboard, <gasps> blindfolded, <gasps> while wearing a helmet. You! On my butt! <gasps> oh no. Hank, you have got to do something. Yes, the great Hankarino began this, and the great Hankarino must end this! <laughs> One, huh? two, three! Yeah. Oh, Hank. All right, Tom. It's time for me to de-hypnotize you. Oh, Hank. Sleep. Sleep. Fear is not always bad. Sleep. A little dollop of fear can keep you from doing really stupid stuff. Fear can... Fear can... Fear can get out of here, man. Oh, no. Tom's not letting me form a hypnonection. I'm going to be brave for the rest of my life. Curse these useless hypno fingers. Tom, you're not going to have a rest of your life if you don't stop this. Tom, no. 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 Oh, yeah. Tom, he was my best friend. But Tom is coming back soon, right? And we'll all laugh about this when he does, right? <sighs> no, Ginger. I'm afraid it's just Ben Enterprises now. Because Tom is, uh, Tom is dead. <gasps> dead? <gasps> no, 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 I, I, I can't be dead. All that was left of him was his helmet. What? Guys, I'm right here. Look at me. Look at me. He was too fearless for this world. And now he's gone. <laughs> it's all because I hypnotized the fear out of him. I blame myself. I blame you too, Hank. You and, and the toothache. <laughs> this can't be happening. I should have listened to my friends. How could I have been so stupid? I don't want to be brave anymore. I want to be afraid. 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 Okay, Ben. That should do it. Huh? <laughs> well, did someone finally learn his lesson? Ben, oh, you can see me. <laughs> we can all see you. You're not really dead. Look. <laughs> oh, I'm alive! I got a second chance! I'm alive! <laughs> yeah. We hypnotists have a saying. Sometimes the patient has to unhypnotize themselves. Ugh, you saved me for me, and I won't forget it. From now on, I'm gonna be the biggest coward you know. No more risks, no more stunts, and definitely no more dentists. <laughs>
I can't believe this! I am so mad I could just lose What's it! What's wrong, Tom? We've been stripped of our title of friendliest town in the world! <gasps> no, that can't be right! That's right. We've been stripped of our title of friendliest town in the world. And people are wondering how the mayor let this happen. <laughs> you blew it, Tom! <laughs> Tom, you have to fix this. I can't grow up in a second best town. My standards are too high now. You won't have to, because we're going to get our number one spot back. We're going to make this town the most easy to get along with and welcoming place in the world. Yes! Now let's start by... Huh? What up, new roomies? Huh? Roomies? What's going on? Have you heard the word, you nerdy nerd? I live here now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Landlord, what is going on here? Because we do not have room for a new roommate. Of course you do. Right here. But that's our storage closet. Stop complaining. Now you get to hang out all day with the fun and crazy guy. Oh, yeah! Ah, do the dance, MC. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Thanks for letting me crash um, here while I'm down on my luck. Rock bottom, y'all. <laughs> You know, if I want to be the mayor of the friendliest town again, I need to lead by example. We're happy to have you, MC. Or should I say, roomy? Oh. Wow! Thanks! That means a lot! Time to housewarming p -p 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 party, y'all! <laughs> I thought you hated when things were chill out! I make an exception when a genius is practicing his craft. Oh, 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 oh yeah! Oh. Oh, 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 yeah! Focus, everyone. We'll never win back the friendliest town title if we can't come up with a plan. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but our new roommate is very distracting. Uh, um, what, what if you pass a law that makes it illegal not to smile and wave at people? That would make us friendlier. Okay, make things illegal. 